Hey everyone! So, when you looked at the title of this video, you probably thought, Tag, you're it. What the heck does that mean? Well, let me explain. I was watching the latest video by Michelle1218 that was in my subscription box. And if you subscribe to her, then um, you already know what I'm going to say. Her latest video, she, in her latest video, she showed you a recreation of a look that she saw from someone else's video, X Sparkage. So what she did was she recreated the look and then she put her own spin on it by using some different products. And I said to myself, we can't let this die here. This has to continue. I'm going to turn this into a tag video. So what I did was I got out all the products that she used in the video that I had and then what I didn't have I substituted and I put my own spin on it. So I thought, oh, this is so fun. We need to keep this going. So here's what I would like to do. If you also think this is a fun idea and you do make videos, I would like you to recreate this look that I'm about to show you, post a video response to this video, and then hopefully the people that subscribe to you will do an interpretation of your look and so on and so forth. And it will just keep going around hopefully YouTube and um, you know people will just keep putting their own spin on the look and make it their own so I thought oh god this is so fun I have to do this and I am gonna send Michelle um, a message hopefully she'll read it <laughs> um, and tell her you know what I'm doing and how you know this is more or less her idea and that I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to keep it going so I don't know if she'll read my message or whatever but I'm gonna try so um, let's get started then let me show you what I used for products and if necessary tell you how I use them and like I said I tried to use as many things that I had that, that she used in her video but I didn't have all the products um, so I did the best I could. Um, she didn't say anything about a primer, but I always use a primer. I use Guerlain Meteorite's Light Diffusing Face Primer. So whatever you have for a primer, use that. And then she did use NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have not used this in such a long time, and it's such a great foundation. My color is Deauville, so if you have NARS Sheer Glow, then use that. And then she didn't say anything about uh, concealer, and I definitely cannot get away with not using concealer. I used Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then for blush, uh, she used a NARS blush, which I didn't, which I don't have. So the closest thing I had to what she used um, is my Hard Candy Hide and Glow Cheek, and it's the pink side. It, this is one of those blush sticks. She used a NARS cream blush in her video. So this was the closest color I had to what she used. This is just like a bright pink. Um, she set her foundation with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. My color is um, light medium. So if you have that, you can use that. And then I don't have the bronzer that she showed. So I used NYC Sunny, which is a matte bronzer, and I just contoured right underneath my blush with it. And then uh, she didn't say anything about her brows, but I have to use, well, I don't have to, but I used the Maybelline Define a Brow in Light Blonde to fill in my brows. Um, I don't think she said anything about eyeshadow primer. I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And then she used the Naked Palette. And what she used was, she, first she started off, and this is going to sound like a lot of product, but I think the end result is, is pretty. Uh, she started off using Sin on her lids. Then she put Naked in the crease and went up a little bit past the crease. And then she used, um, let's see, Buck just in the crease and of course you know blend these out a bit and then she took a pencil brush and took hustle and just blended everything out with that and I focused the hustle a little bit more towards the outer corner she didn't say anything about that but I'm assuming that that's what she did 
And then she used a black liner, so I just used the um, Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Zero that came with the palette. Uh, for mascara, she I think she said she used false lashes. So this is the closest thing I have to without using false lashes, which I don't really... You know, I've, I've tried using them, and they're a pain in the neck, and there's always problems, so I just assume use just mascara. Um, this is the Ico Big Eyes Mascara, which simulates false lashes. I mean, it, it's going to make your lashes look humongous and really volumized. So whatever you have for mascara that's going to give you that false lash effect. Um, also, I forgot to mention that she took NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and put it all in the inner corner. And what I did was I took a brush and I really blended it you know good to give it so that it wouldn't look all cakey and everything so if you have that uh, use that in the inner corner and to finish off the eye products she used um, she used something that I don't have um, so the closest thing I had to that is my white barium dazzle dust which is number 12 and then put that on the lids over the um, over the sin and then just just blended it a little bit but you still want you don't want to use too much because you sort of want to get a little bit of the color of the sin to shine through but um, just you know blend a little bit of the white dazzle dust if you don't have Barry M white dazzle dust maybe you have the product that she used which was um, um, it's called New Diamond by L.A. Splash, and I know you can get that at Ulta, but, you know, if you have any kind of a white sparkly pigment type thing, or a glitter that's safe to use on the eyes, uh, something, something like that. And then for lip products, she used Revlon Peach Petal Lip Gloss. Now, I don't like to use lip gloss just by itself because my lips need some definition. So I used my Sephora lip pencil first, and that is in Cool Coral. Uh, I used that first just to line my lips, then I put the lip gloss on because otherwise I have no definition like on the edge of my lip. It actually looks kind of um, like blurry. Um, so I definitely need to use a lip pencil if I'm just going to use a lip gloss. So that was my lip combo that I used. And then I didn't have the nail polish that she showed. So what I did was um, I took the Revlon, uh, what did I say this was? Peach Petal. Um, I took this lip gloss and I brought it over to my nail polish collection and tried to find the nail polish that most closely matched this because... Like I said, I didn't have the nail polish that she used, and I didn't have it to match up to my own nail polishes, so I matched up what I had that was closest to the lip gloss, and that is OPI. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you read the label. I know you guys have told me more than once how to pronounce this, but for some reason it will not stick in my head. I want to say Dulce de Leche or I'm pretty sure the first word is dulce, and then de, or der, dulce de leche, dulce de leche, leche, dulce, dulce de leche, <laughs> forget it, and don't tell me how to pronounce it again because I don't care, no, <laughs> I, I do care, I just cannot get it to stick in my head to save my life, so anyways, um, yeah, I thought this would be really, really fun for a tag. So take out the products that you have of what I mentioned and then supplement with products of your own and, um, you know, see what you can do with this. Go back and look at Michelle's video and compare it to my end result and see how I did, like, duplicating her look. Um, so that's it for today, you guys. Um... Post as a video response if you want to do this. It's just something fun to do. And I thought it would be a blast if if we could watch, you know, if this tag went around YouTube and then we could see everyone's interpretation of it. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.